<laughs> what's up and welcome back to nap time builder if you actually watched the last video was building us a uh, a lean to over here we're gonna close it in throw some metal on it to match the shop i said i was just gonna do some uh the clear roofing because i'm not planning on putting power in this little small section over here all i'm using it for storage so uh that way we got sunlight's gonna be our power over here okay i don't expect to be over here much just grabbing stuff out or shoving stuff in but as you can see we we got her all through together all except for figuring out the door section here i wasn't too worried about that on that last video i was mostly just trying to get the overall before i go any further i really appreciate anybody that watches the videos like more than you'll ever know do me a favor and take like two seconds. Touch the screen, hit the like button. Send me a comment. Be like, hey, like the channel, videos, you know, they're all right. I know, people's probably getting tired of the shop build stuff. I can't get back to the vehicles until the shop's done. So, especially with the weather we've been having. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Appreciate that even more, you know, if I can get my words out. But uh, I just got back from Home Depot. Got some clear panels. I'm going to be cutting them, throwing them up on top. I already talked to the, uh, the metal company. They already have my stuff, my metal ready in the morning. So at the latest. So uh, I do have some leftover J trim and everything. If that's the technical word, I don't know. But uh, I'll be going along the top up here and nailing it on. That way I can you know, have a little bit cleaner look up there at the top of my side panels. And then just run them down. I got some leftover corner pieces, a bunch of them. I don't know why they had that many leftover, but whatever. We're going to use them. I'm all about using what I got if I got it. You know, less money I got to go spend if I go ahead and use stuff that was just left over. Look, we even had two 16-foot sheets left from the building, so I'll be cutting them in half. That makes me four panels right there. I needed like seven more, I think I guesstimated. Guesstimated. Hopefully that's enough. But uh, let's get after it. Enough rambling. All right, so like I said, this J-trim, <laughs> what I'm going to be using right up there under this board right here. Down, I'm going to put a, I'll put another one up there. Got a smaller piece. But I'm going to do this back one at an angle. And that'll, the next one's a run under them boards. That coming out right there all the way down. And then we just nail them up with some little hammer, or some little uh, roofing nails. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get them as flush as we can. So she ain't got no too big of gaps anyways. All right, so I got my little J trim on the end here. All the way down through there. And down here at the end, all I had was this big board, so there was a big gap. So I just threw a bunch of extra boards in here to kind of fill that out. Put a piece of J trim up here. I will have to go just a hair further on both ends there because I just tested up some corner pieces and they won't cover the little edge there they'll only come so far so uh i'll have to either take it down or rig up some little small pieces on the ends but i did find i was curious about this because i'm wanting the door as big as possible and this is as big as possible as it's gonna get because it's small but uh i got these a bunch of extra corner pieces 
which will be great for down there on the outside corner and this outside corner. It should cover a good bit of it. But I have some of these other pieces here that are not for the corners. I think there's two more 12 foot pieces over there. Maybe three, I think it's two more. So I have four and all. And I'm thinking about saying we'll have this gap right there. So I'm thinking about throwing that along down through there. Two of them will almost do the whole thing down through here and throw a piece up here maybe and a piece down yonder. But also if I have enough left, I might use it to help cover the inside of these posts. Which one of them will do be better right here than that corner piece, but I could just cut the flange off the corner piece and shove it in there. But uh, that's what we're looking like right now. Um, probably gonna go ahead with, well, I need to cut them two small pieces or extend that one or put a longer one up there for that. That way that can get covered up on the corners. But after that, I'm probably gonna throw two of these up down through here, see how I like it. If I like it, then nail it down. If I like it, then I'll keep it and throw pieces on the end and go from there. As I say in every video, I am not a professional anything. I'm just, if I think I can do it, I'm gonna do it. There ain't no point in paying somebody to do something that you think you can do and save you the labor costs. So materials and everything is expensive enough nowadays. If I do it and it don't look magnificent but it looks all right. We're gonna keep it. Cause we're too far along to be getting somebody to come over here now. But uh, we'll make it look the best we can. It ought to look all right when we get done. I'm probably gonna be pleased with it and that's all that matters. So uh, let's get back after it. So after some uh, time lapse there, I got that, I guess flashing, is that the right word? Flashing all the way down, got it over here. Actually, uh, I went ahead and put some J-trim up here too, because I figured this will be filled in and then you know I'll have my door, so I figured that needed it. If not, I'll take it off later. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure it out as I go. This is what we're looking like. This is what we're looking like. She ain't perfect. She's still gonna have a small gap for you up here standing under. You can see it, but from a distance, it'll look just fine. And so. But that's the progress I've made so far. And I guess maybe about time to cut some clear panels and start getting them up there. All right, guys and gals and whoever's watching. We've officially got all the clear panels up. And of course, I'm a dummy. You know, I didn't think about corrugated going up against corrugated. I'm gonna have a gap there. Thinking about seeing if I can get some of this. Uh, I said I had all them extra corner pieces. Thinking about trimming them. Sorry, dude in a Mustang. But uh, I might use them white ones too. Ain't gonna hurt my feelings. 
Can't even tell there's no back gym roofing up there. I don't let plenty of light in, that's for sure. And you know, worst case scenario. This whole YouTube thing don't work out. I end up having to get rid of some stuff. We can rip the side, the, the side panels off of this. This side can be a daggum greenhouse. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't tell my wife that, she might get some ideas. All right, well anyways, that's enough work for this nap time. Kids are up and we got baseball practice in a couple hours and we're gonna do a little practice before practice in the yard. So get back at this tomorrow, hopefully, with some metal. Well, the metal's done and I'm in the minivan. Just dropped my man off of school, so I figured I'd come by and check, make sure my order was done. I got the car seats out and the seats down, but I still got baseball stuff in here, car seats and everything. The passenger seats filled up. <clears throat> They're probably gonna think I'm crazy when I pull up here and load this stuff up in the back of this van, put them car seats back on top of the metal. Oh, I've, I've done crazier, so it's whatever. We'll see how this goes. Well, we got it here. <laughs> What's up? Back at another nap time. All right, look, I got a little excited when I got out here, so I went ahead and put a couple small pieces up. I went ahead and covered this front right here and did that post right between the between the building and the lean-to there. I'm not doing this corner just yet. We're going to start throwing this metal down the side. So a lot of progress made on that run. We got the whole side done. Now I'm just gonna let you know, just like I do in every video, I am not a professional, you know, pretty much at anything. So don't be looking at my screws because I didn't run no chalk line and they might be a little, you know, a little swervy, like somebody had them a few too many drinks at the Margarita Monday or, or something or Taco Tuesday. But, uh, it looks it looks all right but i mean she's looking all right got the whole side covered i've got to uh come back here to this back and figure out my piece for it and gotta figure out all right so my door when i make it it's gonna swing out this way. So, hinges will be on this side, but I want this post covered as much as possible. And let me see here. Here's a piece of a corner. Now that'll, that'll be about how that goes on. So, that'll only come around to there. But with that coming around to there, and this right here is a, uh, not another corner piece, but one of those right there. But with that coming around to there, and if I did that on the inside of that post, then you wouldn't be able to see that post. I just don't know if I'll be able to do that up there also. So, I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, well, I went ahead and jumped to the back. That way I could finish it up before I started worrying about the, the front and the door piece. So I finally got this knocked out. Not too terrible. You can see my dad give a label up there. I did get this level with what was already on the back. But on this side, if as you get to, in that time lapse while ago, I didn't say it, but I went ahead and left them eight foot, and I just went ahead and ran it all the way down. Cause I mean, 
hide that concrete. All right, it looks good over here on the side and I made sure this was matched up. This is the back corner, so that corner piece being down there lower than that. Shouldn't anybody care, because shouldn't anybody be back here? So, works for me. I'm very pleased with the way this is going. I do have some scratches on some of them. And then the longer pieces I did lay out for, I don't know, a couple months, probably. So, I mean, I got a little dirty. She could use a pressure washing, but she's she's looking good. Look, she just blends right in. All right, so right here I did go ahead and throw one of them smaller pieces up. I got another one here. I'm about to have to do some cuts on so I can go up there. And then we'll throw a uh, corner piece on it. And that should pretty much hide that whole pole there. And then I guess we'll see what steps we got after that. She ain't perfect, but she don't look terrible. So, not too terrible. All right, so now we've got all that done. This gap right here is what I'm worried about. And we've got a few of these. I got well over enough of these right here. What I'm planning is, you know, turn it around. Or, well, flip that long thing over. What I'm planning on is doing this right here along the top up here. Thing is, they still a big old gap, you know. So, I got another piece down here and I measured this, see these the big the bigger areas here. So I'm cutting here and here, then on the other side of that hump. I'm gonna bend this part in as much as I can on every one of them. And once I get it up here, I've already got them bent back hopefully enough. But once I get it up here, I'll you know screw them down and caulk the heck out of it is what I'm hoping that it's a small enough gap that I can caulk it up and be okay all right well here it is there's a lot a lot smaller gap I'm hoping I can get them up in there snug enough after I screw her down and just caulk the heck out of everything this is the best option I got right now so uh you know I'm just kind of hoping it works all right, well, that was a bust. It, for one, it wasn't, it got it pretty close on the first couple there. But uh, the further I got going down, put, putting in screws and trying to get it tied, it just kept walking its way out from the building. I was warping it and everything with so much pressure on it, I guess. That's a bust. I'll have to go back to the drawing board on that one. But I got to figure out something for that, so I don't know. Well, uh, but that's going to be it for the day. Baby girl just woke up a few minutes ago. So, uh, catch y'all tomorrow, hopefully. All right, we back again. <clears throat> I took it easy yesterday because uh, I had to go get my little man from school and, you know, after I laid my little girl down, I only had about an hour before I'd go pick him up. And that ain't much, that ain't no time to do nothing. So I pretty much just edited some videos yesterday. But uh, today, 
we're gonna try to throw together a door. So. And this is all the wood I got left. All different sizes, all different widths. Lengths, everything. Some's been cut off of. But this whole project has pretty much been scrap except for the posts, so. We're gonna make it work. I got one more sheet of metal over there that's not been touched, so I got plenty of metal too to throw on there. But uh I guess let's get after it. All right, I did some measuring. Measuring. It's impossible for me to hold this thing and use my hands at the same time. Maybe I'll get better over time. But uh, we're gonna do 74 inches high. That way it's not touching over the bottom like it's just floating in the middle. The metal's gonna be the thing that covers most of the hole. But uh, it's gonna be like, the frame of it's gonna be like 74 by 36. Hopefully we can make it work. All right, if you watched that time lapse, then you realized that that mug was, that door was crookeder than a politician, okay? But uh, I ain't too afraid to say I messed up. My wood was warped. It's been sitting outside in the rain and weather for a while now, so it was warped. So there wasn't no way I was gonna make that square or even halfway look all right. So I backed up and I punted it, okay? So this is what we got now. Just straight up simple. She still ain't the straightest thing because especially this board along this side is crazy warped. So, uh, but it shall work. Look, she fits in the hole. I'll throw some hinges on it and get her lined up just how I want it. And then throw some metal on it and she'll look like she's supposed to be there. Well, I thought I had some uh, some old door hinges laying around that might work for it. These right here are the biggest that I've got and that I found that ain't gonna work for this door. So, uh, my dad just walked over though. He thinks he might have some laying around. So, he's gonna go look around for a few minutes. It's going to be a decent little storage area. Get some of the stuff out of the shop. Create a little room. It'll be all right. You know, once I get all that junk out of there, the way I can put stuff in. Ah, it's the daddy o came to the rescue with a couple of uh, hinges. This is my ones he ain't used. We got them in there the hanging it up but you know I don't want to put him on camera if he don't want to be so I wasn't gonna ask so she ain't look she ain't the prettiest thing but as long as she covers this doorway and opens and actually I'm debating on when I use it to open it swing it to the inside because when we do this carport a 16 foot carport out here I mean I'm probably gonna have a post lock right here so not like a so we'll probably be swinging that to the inside you know if I don't get stung by a wasp first right. so so I guess let's see if we can uh, cut us a piece of metal and try to make this look halfway decent I'm over here trying to kill wasps but at the same time so Oh, that sucker flew off after he hit the ground. He'll be back. He's mad. Alright, well, the wind's picking up, but uh, she's 
hung and we got it rigged up door lock for now she works That'll be fine until I get one to my liking. But for now, she works. It closes all that jazz. I don't want to let her hang the run to the store. I gotta work tonight. But uh I've still got to deal with the little the uh, crack along the top. I'm not worried about it. Also, this is got to get right here. A little bit of rain will get in it. But I mean, it's going to be very minimal compared to what has been poured down because that was an empty pad over there. So, uh, but this will definitely be what I need to do. Again, thanks for watching that time builder. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button. Help help a boy out, you know. I'm just a I don't know nothing, but I try everything. So. <laughs> I'm not a professional at nothing, but uh I get by with many things. So uh thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit that like button. Hey, subscribe if you ain't subscribed. We got some better stuff coming up once we get done with this shop. We got many projects. Many, many projects. So, uh, y'all just, just stay tuned. I'll catch y'all later.